Good morning, everyone. Thank you for doing your devotions with me. Today we are in Philippians chapter 4, verses 14 to 23. Let's pray, Lord, as we come to you, O God, to spend this time in your word. We pray, O Lord God, that you would speak to us through your Holy Spirit, that you would convict us in your word, O Lord God, and bring us, O God, to a place of desire to participate in your kingdom work. Lord, be with us throughout this day, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So Philippians chapter 4, verses 14 to 23, it says, Yet it was good of you to, to share in my troubles. Moreover, as you Philippians know, in the early days of your acquaintance with the gospel, when I set out from Macedonia, not one church shared with me in the matter of giving and receiving, except you only. For even then I was in Thessalonica, and you sent me aid more than once when I was in need. Not that I desire your gifts, what I desire is that more be credited to your account. I have received full payment and have more than enough. I am amply supplied now that I have received from Eroditus the gifts you sent. They are a fragrant offering, an acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Greet all God's people in Christ Jesus. The brothers and sisters who are with me, send greetings. All God's people here send you greetings, especially those who belong to Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, be with your spirit. Amen. So it's the early portion of this scripture that I think we kind of need to focus on. This passage talks about giving. Um, and giving to the ministry um, of others, and um, you know, it's an important it's, it's an important aspect of the church that I think a lot of people just kind of have a hard time with. And I, I know that there were a lot of abuses in the past, um, and that's kind of the big shame of the church. You know, that there are so many people who have been corrupted by giving or receiving and things like that, and um, someone who as someone who is living in a way off the offerings of our congregation, I truly know and understand that struggle because uh, I want to know that I am honoring the offerings that have been given so that my family and I are able to live. But at the same time, um, it is a reminder that when we give, we are participating in the ministry of the missionary or the pastors that we are supporting. And so when we think about um, missionary Peter or missionary Mira, um, like in the giving that we give, or you know, even the other missionaries that we have supported in the past, it's in the giving that we give that allows us to know that we are participating in that work. It's through prayer. There are these two ways that we can really be sending, right? Through prayer and through the financial giving to support them in their ministries. Um, and of course, prayer is you know, so important for us to, when we are praying for um, our pastors and for our missionaries and for our leaders, but also the financial giving allows us, as just as Paul says, it's to be credited to your account. It al allows us to participate in that work so that whatever uh, missionary Peter is doing, whatever missionary Mira is doing, we are doing in the giving that we, we give and we offer. And so through that, we can really know that God's work is being done through the church by the ways that we just simply give we have so much received so much and um you know in all that we have received we are also called to give and so i want to encourage you to not just hold on to and accumulate but really to build god's kingdom to participate in the kingdom work be a partner with god's people and god's missionaries and you know partner with them through prayer partner with them through giving because that is, um, I think, a responsibility that we have as the church. What we what we have received, um, the same way that we have received so freely, may we also give freely. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you so much for this time, this message. We pray, Lord God, that it would remind us, Lord God, not to hold on to what we have so tightly, but Lord God, to be gracious with others and to be freely able to give, Lord. Lord God, help us, oh Lord God, so that through the lives that we live, 
we, O oh Lord God, will be storing up our treasures in heaven. And a part of that is the work that we do, that we would not delegate it only to someone else, but also, Lord God, that we will participate in that work through the giving that we give and the prayers that we pray, Lord God, that you would allow us to truly have a great harvest in the work that we do, Lord God, in sharing you. Lord, we thank you so much. Uh, bless us throughout this day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a blessed day today, everyone, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.